So to understand the difference between depolarization and repolarization, you need to keep two sets of facts in mind. First, the outside of the cell has more sodium compared to the inside of a cell, which has more potassium. And also, the outside of a cell membrane is more positively charged when compared to the inside of a cell membrane, which is more negatively charged. So even though there's all that positive potassium inside the cell, there are other things in the cell membrane that are making it more negatively charged. So looking at depolarization and repolarization, we're looking at a graph of membrane potential. Membrane potential is the difference in charge between the inside and outside. So at rest, we say the cell membrane is polarized because there is a difference between the charges and things that are polar are different. So at this point, all the channels are closed. Depolarization happens when the sodium channels open, and because there's more sodium on the outside of the cell, once those channels open, that positive sodium starts to flow into the cell, making the inside of the cell more positive. So it's depolarizing because now there's less of a difference between the inside and outside. Repolarization happens when the sodium channels close, the potassium channels open. So now that the potassium channels are open, all of that positive potassium on the inside of the cell can start moving outside. So the charges flip back to the outside being more positive, the inside being more negative, we reestablish the difference between the inside and outside of the cell membrane. The other thing that happens is the potassium channels are staying open longer than they really need to just to go back to regular resting membrane. So hyperpolarization occurs when the inside of the cell becomes more negative than it was to start with because that positive potassium keeps exiting. So anything below regular resting membrane potential is hyperpolarization. And regular resting will be reestablished by those sodium potassium pumps.